Hey guys, hope you're well. So over the last couple of lessons, we've learned how to work with decimals. We've learned how to add them, subtract them, multiply, divide. Now, of course, we now have to move, put all of them together, and that's where we use bod mass. Remember that the B stands for brackets. We're not really going to look at um, O in this type of section. Then remember that the D and the M is division and multiplication. <laughs> division and multiplication. Now they go together. Okay, they are not, the one is not more important than the other. They can go together. And then addition and subtraction, they also go together, but they are not as strong as division and multiplication. So you'll always do these ones first and then these ones. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is the following, is do brackets first, then do all multiplication and division, and then do all addition and subtraction. Do it in that order. So it's brackets first, then do all of that, and then do all of that. We learned, we've learned that it must be brackets first, okay? But there's no brackets over here. So then we do all multiplication and divisions next. Remember, it's number one, then number two, then number three. So we'll do this part first. Now, can you remember how to multiply um, decimals? Well, remember that if you have, for example, 2,4, this is just a made-up example, multiply by 3,24, then what we always do is we count from the back of the number and we see how many decimals. So that's one. And then here we have one, two. So there's one decimal here and two decimals here. So that's a total of three decimals. Then what we used to do is we would then go rewrite the numbers without the decimals. And then we would go multiply these numbers normally. And then at the end, we will just add back the three decimals. So that's what we're gonna do here as well. Now, you might be wondering, where is the decimal here? Well, well, there isn't a decimal there, so you don't need to worry about that one. But for this one, if you count from the back, that's one. So you're gonna have to remember, at the end, we're gonna have to add back one decimal. So now, we can go rewrite the numbers without any decimals. Now remember, when you have a zero in the front like that, you can just leave it out. So it's just four times one. Now we know that four times one is four. Now that we have the answer, we need to go back one decimal. So we go to the end like this, and we go back one decimal. And so we put our little decimal there. Now we never want to leave an answer without anything in the front, so it'll be zero comma four. Then we just say plus five comma six. Now we've learned in previous videos how to add or subtract decimals. So you put the decimals on top of each other. So we say 0, 0,4 plus 5, 6. Now what is 4 plus 6? 10. So you put a 0 there, 1 there. What is 1 plus 5? 6. So the answer is 6, 0. But when you have zeros at the end of decimals, you can leave it out. And so the answer would actually just be six. So with this one over here, we know that we should always do um, brackets first, but there aren't any. Then we do multiplication and division. So we will do this part first. Okay, so we know that when you um, multiply with decimals, the first step is to just count from the back. So that's one place over there, and then two places over there. So in total, that will be three places, right? Because it's one over here and two over here. So that'll be three places that we must just remember at the end. Now we go rewrite the numbers without decimals. Now remember these zeros in the front, we can just ignore them now. And so that becomes the question. 53 multiply by four. Now three multiply by four is 12. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So it's 2, 1, 2. Now we need to go back three decimals. I have explained this in previous lessons um, on how to multiply decimals. So we're going to go three places back. 1, 2, 3. And you're going to put the decimal there. Okay? Now, you never want to just write your answer like that. You always want to put a zero in the front. So now we can say 7,812 take away 0,212. And so now uh, we know how to add and subtract decimals. We're just going to put the decimals on top of each other. And then we just fill it in. So 7,812 
minus 0, 0,212, and now we just subtract. So 2 minus 2, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 8 minus 2, 6. 7 minus 0 is 7. So the answer is 7,600, but what I said earlier was that when you have zeros at the end like this after the decimal and it's the zeros are at the end, you can ignore them. And so we actually have an answer of 7,6. So here's our next one. Now they say, uh, remember, brackets first. Okay, so we go do brackets first. Now we know that we must just line up all the decimals like that. Okay, now 9 take away 7 is 2. 3 cannot take away 6, so we borrow here. And then we have 13 now. 13. 13 take away 6 is 7. And then 4 take away 0 is 4. So now we can go rewrite everything. 2935.67 plus 13,05 multiply by 4,72. So we've done brackets. The next one says, do all multiplication and division. Okay, well, here's a multiplication. So 13,05 multiply by 4,72. Now, what we've learned with multiplication is that we need to count all the decimals from the back of each number. So here we will have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's a total of 4, okay? Now, take away... Um, take away the decimal. So now we have 1305 multiply by 472. And then at the end of that one, we will just remember to put the decimals back four places. Okay, so we start with 5 multiplied by 2, which is 10. Then it's 0 multiplied by 2, which is 0, plus 1 is 1. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. Now we go to the next line where we're going to multiply all of this with 7. So 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. 0 multiplied by 7 is 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. And then 1 multiplied by 7 is 7 plus 2 is 9. Now we go to the next line where we put two zeros. And so now we're going to multiply all of this with this number. So 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. 0 multiplied by 4 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. 1 multiplied by 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay, now we need to go and add all of this together. So 0, 6, 9, 5, 11, and 6. Let's just write that nicely. 6, 1, 5, 9, 6, 0. Now we need to come back four decimals. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that'll be 61,5960. Now remember, if you have any zeros at the end of a decimal, you can leave it out. So it's 61,596. So now we can say 2935,67 plus 61,596. Okay, so now we can just go add these together. So 29, well, let's first put our decimals. So 2935,67. So 29, well, let's fill it in from here. 5392, and then 61,596. So 5. 9, 6, and then 6, 1. Okay, so this is an empty space, so I'll put a 0 there. And now we're just going to add. So 0 plus 6 is 6, 7 plus 9 is 16, 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Then that will give us 7, that will give us 9, 9, and two. So there's your final answer. 2997.266. Let's do two more examples. So we know that we must do brackets first, but there aren't any brackets here. Then it says do all multiplication and division. Okay, so we'll do this one and then this one, and then we'll just put them together. So let's start with the 6,53 multiply by 0, 0,06. We know when multiplying with decimals, we count the decimals from the end. One, two, three, four. So just remember the number four. 
Now rewrite the numbers without decimals. These zeros in the front we can scratch out and so we actually just end up with that. So let's turn that into a multiply now. 3 times 6, 18. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. 6 times 6, 36, plus 3 is 39. Then we're going to go four places back from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put your decimal. And so there's your answer. But you never want to have nothing in the front here. So we'll say 0. So it's 0, 3918. Now, so this answer here, 0, 3918. Now let's go do this one. Now remember what we learned about divide when we dealing with decimals. We learned that this number, the one on the right, is not allowed to have any decimals. So we need to somehow push this decimal three places to the right. And that's where we learned about this thing over here. So to move one place to the right, you would multiply by 10. To go two places to the right, you multiply by 100. And then to go three places to the right, you multiply by 1,000. So we need to go one, two, three places. So we're going to multiply this by 1,000. I taught all of this in the lesson where we learned how to divide with decimals. And so if we push this decimal three places, you end up with um, 0, 0, 0,058, 4, which is just the same as that. And then this one, you just end up with 2 because the, the decimal goes 1, 2, 3. And so it actually just ends up at the end. So that just becomes a 2. Now we can just divide normally. So 2 goes into 5 twice, and then there's 1 left over. 2 goes into 18 nine times, and then put a little decimal. 2 goes into 4 twice. And so 29, 2. So now we can say 0, 0,3918 plus 29 comma 2. So when adding, remember that the decimals must go on top of each other. So that's going to be 0 comma 3, 9, 1, 8, and then 29 comma 2. So the 2's over there, and then 29 like that, and then the 0, 0, 0 goes in the empty spaces, and then we are going to add. So 8 plus 0, 8, 1 plus 0, 1, 9 plus 0, 9, 3 plus 2, 5, 0 plus 9, 9, and then 29. Here's our last one. So there's no brackets, so we don't have to worry about that. So we can go straight to step 2 where it says do all multiplication and division. So we'll do both of those separately. So with the division, we've learned that this number on the right must not have any decimals. So we need to take this decimal and somehow get it to go three places to the right. So it needs to push three places over to the right. And so to do that, we would have to apply this rule over here, where we'll have to multiply the number by 1000. And what you do to that one, you also have to do to this one. So the decimal can then move three places. So and for this one, it will do the same. So here we're going to end up with 0067,55 divide by 0005. Now when the decimals at the end, you ignore it. And the zeros in the front you can ignore, and so you can also ignore these zeros in the front. And so this becomes our new division, which is a lot easier to do. And let's put the decimal there and the decimal there. So the number, I'm going to use short division, but you can definitely use long division. So the number 5 goes into the number 6 once, and then there's one left over. The number 5 can go into the number 17 three times, and then there's two left over. The number 5 can go into 25 five times, and then the number 5 can go into 5 once. And so 13,51 is our answer for this part over here. Now we need to go do this multiplication. Now we've learned with multiplication, what we do is we count how many decimals we can see from the back. So 1, 2, that's two decimal places, and then here's one decimal place. So that's a total of three. What we then do is we ignore the decimals completely, and that becomes our new sum, 352 multiplied by 14. And then after we finished, we have to move the decimals back three places. Okay, so 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, 5 multiplied by 4 is 20, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Then we put a little zero. Now we're going to multiply all of these numbers with this number here. 
And so that'll give us two, five times one is five, and three times one is three. Now we add, so that'll give us eight, two, nine, four. Now we have to put the decimal back three places from the end, so one, two, three, so we end up with four comma nine, two, eight. So we can say a four comma nine, two, eight. Now we need to add those. So 13.51 add, 4.928. So when adding, you put the decimals on top of each other. And so we end up with 13,51. Now be careful here. It's 4, and then there's a 9, and then the 2, and then the 8. So this will be a 0. Okay. And so now we just add. And so 0 plus 8 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. 5 plus 9 is 14. And then 4 plus 3 plus 1 is eight, and then one. So we end up with 18,438.